Hi there. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will introduce a plant, where its leaves are traditionally used for the treatment of cancer, diabetes, and gallstones. Though the shrub was originated in Madagascar, it is now commonly found across Southeast Asia. In Malaysia, the plant is called Pokok Pakabeling or Pokok Pakakacha, which means broken glass tree. The name broken glass is associated to its leaves, which produce a sound like broken glass when the leaves are crushed. There are also other names for the plant such as Biom Karong, Ngo Kilo, and Jin Batu. In Indonesia, the plant is called Pekabeling, Ngo Kilo, Kesabeling or Kjabeling. In Chinese, it is called Hamian Jangjun. The scientific name for the plant is Strobilanthes crispa. It is a member of the family Acanthaceae, which is a family of dicotyledonous flowering plants. This plant generally thrives in the open areas or bushes, and is often seen as an unwanted weed on the river bank or in the abandoned fields. It is also very easy to grow around the house either on the ground or in pots. It can be propagated from its seeds or from cuttings. The plant is often confused with other species of Cusia strobilanthes or Assam indigo. However, the difference with the Assam indigo is the color of its flower. Assam indigo produces purple flowers while Poco Pekakacha produces yellow flowers. The plant grows vertically and can reach to the height of about 2 meters. It produces many branches and grows in abundance. The leaf of the plant is light green to dark green with serrated edges, where the size of the leaf is about 5 to 8 cm in length, and 2 to 5 cm in width. The flowers are small, yellow in color, and consist of 5 petals. A study conducted at the University Putra Malaysia found that the leaves of the plant have a very high content of minerals such as potassium, calcium, sodium, iron, phosphorus and vitamin C, B1 and B2. There is also a moderate amount of caffeine content found in its leaves. The high contents of mineral presence in its leaf have proven to elicit high antioxidant activity, and anti-cancer properties. Laboratory studies have also found that this leaf extract has been confirmed to contain flavonoids such as quercetin, naringenin and camphorol. The nutrients from this plant are usually taken as a drink in the form of herbal tea. As for the anti-cancer properties, preclinical studies were conducted to evaluate the effectiveness of its leaf extracts in vitro or tissue culture and in vivo or animal studies. For tissue culture studies, the extracts act effectively to prevent the growth of colon cancer cells, liver cancer, and breast cancer. This extract is able to kill cancer cells by causing these cancer cells to die naturally without side effects or inflammation. In addition, this extract is also able to suppress cancer-causing genes, thus reducing the risk and spread of cancer. For animal studies, liquid extract of the leaf at a concentration of 2.5% and 5% was able to reduce liver cancer for infected rats. It is also found that the extract from the leaf of the plant is effective as an anti-diabetic agent. This extract had no effect on blood sugar levels tested on rats, but was able to increase the total antioxidant levels. Increases of total antioxidant levels in blood is important to protect the body from free radicals. So, the extract can be taken not only for the treatment of diabetes, but also for prevention. Besides, the leaves were found to be able to destroy stones in the bile and the kidneys. This plant is also able to lower cholesterol in the body, and facilitate the excretion of urine if taken in the right amount. It is suggested that the daily consumption of about 5 grams of leaf extract as an herbal tea, or 5 milligrams of dried leaf brewed in one cup of boiling water can contribute as extra nutrients and antioxidants that boost our body immune system. The leaves of the plant are widely used in traditional medicine such as treating cancer, diabetes, gallstones, gout, joint pain, back pain, diarrhea and so on. In Indonesia, these leaves are also used for leukemia, snake bites and uterine fibroid treatment. 
Let's look at some of the usage of the plant including the preparation and the application as traditional medicines. Take about 5 to 7 leaves. Wash the leaves and clean. Put the leaves in a container with 500 milliliters of clean water. Boil the mixture until the water reduces to 200 milliliters. Remove the leaves and refrigerate the water. Drink one glass of the decoction in the morning and every day, until the disease is gradually cured. I hope you have received some important information about the plant, including its medicinal benefits as an herbal remedy for a number of diseases. If you have liked the video please give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button. To receive more similar videos in future, please subscribe the channel. Hope to see you soon with another interesting health benefits video. Till then, goodbye.